I am also known as Vinny Art Online. I'm a comic book artist and a formerly designer of McFarlane Toys. Today, I want to showcase uh, this figure, uh, Star Killer, uh, Darth Vader's apprentice from the Star Wars video game, uh, the, F the Force Unleashed. And yeah, they made two games on this guy. I love this character. He's one of my favorites after the original stuff. And again, nothing really afterwards. It's just. You know, we know how Star Wars, where it went. But uh, this is like one of the last characters that I thought was really cool and that they did something awesome with. So uh, I wanted to show him. And packaging's all right. Uh, it's pretty good. It's They, they have like the gamer editions or the gamer verse stuff. And um, the packaging's pretty cool with the artwork. Uh, I do like that, the piece that they have of them there. That looks really good. Um, you see him like with the other clones in the background uh, or whatnot. Uh, oh, and apologies if you hear some banging. Uh, my neighbors are doing some kind of construction, and this is the only time I, I have to record this. So, uh, But anyway, uh, yeah, here's some of the info if you want to read about him, uh, who he is, and all that stuff. But uh, all right, so there's a little bit of a mixed bag. Because I, I do like the character a lot, and I wanted a representation of him. They finally made him. The details there, the likeness is okay. I think it could have been better. His articulation is what really bums me out. And this is the problem with the Hasbro Star Wars stuff. They always go cheap on them. So they go all out on G.I. Joe, all out on Marvel Legends. And Star Wars, we get bizarre joints. We get weird stuff all the time. And I don't know why they do it. It's almost like a more baby version of what they're capable of doing. Which is crazy because this guy has so much great detail on him anyway. You know, like uh, the printing technology they did with like the hair because he's it's almost buzzed down completely. But, you know, there's there's enough uh, where you can see hair um, in the video game and all that. But it's almost like a military buzz cut. Um, I, I got to say, like the sculpt work is pretty nice. But then we get like to the knees and stuff. And it's I think this should have been double jointed knees, not a single joint. It's ugly, it's weird. When you go to pose them, you're kind of limited on, on what you could do to make them look cool. I, I don't know why they do it. It's This happens all the time, and it drives me kind of nuts. That's why I, I stopped getting these things a long time ago. But um, this guy, he's been sitting here for a number of months now. Uh, I just I haven't had a chance to review him, but I wanted to show him. Um, yes, and just like in the game, like you, if you have other uh, uh, lightsabers, like the hilts, you could hang them on his, uh, on his belt. He was kind of collecting them too at one point. Um, but yeah, and, and again, just... I know there's another version of this guy too besides. Uh, but that's more of a, a deluxe figure. I do like that they put some blood on him. You know, running down his left forearm, some on his shoulder. But we're going to get into articulation. Um, the ball joint in the head is pretty good. I think he could have looked up a little bit better. Or that would have been really nice, but they didn't do that. He has butterfly joints that are a little bit non-existent. He does have the, the ball joint in the shoulder, um, the bicep cut, single bend for the elbow, which again, ridiculous. Um, you have the swivel on the wrist with the hinge that's going vertical. And his waist, this is terrible. He's, it's supposed to be some sort of a ball joint, which you have almost no movement in. You get like a little bit of like twitching to each side. That's about it. You know, the hinge, it kind of, for the elbow, you could kind of pivot it inward and outward. That's fine. But again, I would have preferred a double a double uh, hinge for the elbow. Uh, splits are pretty good. Um, a little bit of rotation, but it's from that cup part. Because as you can see here, it's like a ball joint cup action thing going there. So they just, I, they went cheap on them. No, no proper thigh cut. Uh, then you have the weird knee one. It's a single bend, and then same thing like with the elbow, like it hinges to the sides, or you, or pivots to the side rather. He does have the uh, the pivot on the foot with the with the hinge. That's okay, but like the, I, to me, they dropped the ball on his articulation, and it's it's really sad because this is a cool character. Yeah, you could get him into some pretty decent poses, but overall, like he should have been highly articulated. Give him more range. That midsection needed to be fixed completely. 
Um, yeah, that's that's a major a major problem if you ask me. You don't have a proper ball joint in there, or at least a hinge or something. Um, I'm I'm going to show you a female Star Wars figure in another review that they kind of went a little bit above and beyond, and you could tell there's it's a night and day difference with articulation. But again, uh, I feel like this character never really gets much love. He should have had a proper movie. They didn't do that. That actor and uh, the voice actor, and he did the motion capture and everything. He's been in a bunch of major movies. He's he's a fantastic actor. This was a wasted opportunity, you know. So I don't know, but uh, overall, like I said, you can still get him in some pretty decent poses. I'm not going full out hate train. I'm just giving you more of a you know a realistic uh, approach on how I'm reviewing the figure. And again. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of this game. Uh, well, that's the two that they made. Uh, kind of bummed that they didn't, we didn't get a third one, but you know. And granted, the second story wasn't good, but uh, it was still a lot of fun, and the graphics were way better in the second one. But overall, um, and yeah, there was a, a Mara Jade, which her articulation is actually pretty damn good, considering uh, it's a female figure and it's in the Star Wars line. But yeah, I'll I'll be reviewing her as well. But uh, these are the only two Star Wars ones I have out at the moment. Um, I have a few from Black Series from years ago. Uh, so, uh, again, I, I was a fan of the older stuff. Not any of the newer crap. But, um, yeah, so it is what it is. Anyway, um, I hope you guys uh, did enjoy this review. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Uh, I, tell me what your thoughts are. What do you think about Star Killer? Is this a guy, a character you want to see come back in a video game or a movie or something? Uh, do you think, um, you know, Disney, if they did, they'd screw it up? I don't know. I, or is Star Wars just over? Because I, I got a feeling that it's just over at this point. I don't think there's anything that's going to save it uh, unless you get, you know, you clean house and then give the fans what they really wanted and make sure all this stuff uh, is, uh, you know, canon and continuity again and whatnot. You know, I don't know. That's my thoughts on it. But um, again, not my primary uh, series that I was collecting. But like I said, I have a, a, a few from years ago. And uh, there's still a lot of stuff uh, that I, I can still look back and enjoy. You know, it's not completely tainted yet. But um, Mark Hamill's sure making it very difficult to go back and enjoy any of the old stuff. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the best I could give him is a 7. It's okay. He could have been better. He could have been a lot better, actually. So, I hope you guys liked it. Till next Be time. Be sure to pick up my uh, Volume 3 art book as well. This thing is perfect bound. 64 pages. Uh, absolutely amazing. So you don't want to miss out on this one. Again, this is the th Volume 3. Uh, it's available right now in Indiegogo for a limited time. Um, yeah, more information soon on some of my other projects. And uh, yeah, upcoming stuff. There's also uh, going to be a sneak peek at City of Venus 2 in this book. So uh, yeah, you're not going to want to miss this at all. Uh, like I said, this is going to be the next um, major comic book that I am releasing. This one's going to be around 52 pages. All right, for anyone looking for some amazing comic books, uh, this is part of my collection. I am the artist and creator of Shadow of the Kraken. This is a beautiful pirate story. 52 pages, beautiful artwork. Um, yeah, everything you need out of a great pirate story, you're right here. We have City of Venus. It's a futuristic story. Also another one that I totally created. Um, beautiful, if you love uh, kind of post-apocalyptic worlds, beautiful women, uh, sci-fi, action. This has a little bit of everything in it. So if you're looking for that um, on that campaign, you could also get for a limited time uh, volume one and two of my art books. These are loaded with amazing images, 52 pages each. Uh, yeah, they got pretty much everything you need in there. And we have, of course, hardcover book. This is Through the Woods, um, co-created and written by Frankie Tartamella, my brother. And uh, yeah, I did all the artwork. This is 100 pages. You get the entire story in here, uh, beginning, middle, end. You get all of it and it is truly amazing so uh, if you're looking for a, a great ghost story uh, this is definitely the book for you just click the link in the descriptions and uh, yeah these books ship immediately